On Friday, September 30th of this year, 2016, Netflix is releasing Luke Cage's own TV series. We need to talk about him. Let's see what we've got. Hello everybody and welcome to Comic Book Quickie at the Geek Fortress. The only place where you get it done quickly and done well. So what do you know about Luke Cage? When you think of him, you may think of maybe Jessica Jones. For those of you who have seen the uh, Netflix TV show as well. Uh, you may think about his powers. But uh, there's more to him that actually uh, it's being shown in, uh, in the show. Did you know that his creators were Archie Goodwin, John Romita Sr., and George Tuska? Three. His first appearance was in the comic book title Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, number one. That's right, he debuted in his own so solo comic book right away, which usually hasn't been the, um, the situation in previous comic book quickies that we've done. This debuted on June of 1972. That's when he first showed up. Did you know that he's also known as Power Man? And for good reason. But this wasn't until issue 17 of his solo comic where they actually changed it to Luke Cage Power Man. And again, that was issue number 17. Before it had the original title that I spoke to you guys about at the beginning, Hero for Hire. His real name is Carl Lucas. He grew up in New York. As he was growing up, he wasn't really the nicest or the best, or neither was he like a superhero type. As a matter of fact, he was involved in gangs and uh, really bad stuff. He actually was in this gang with his friend called uh, Willie Stryker, and uh, the two of them were like this inseparable friends, and they were together in the gang, and you know, they did what they did, but uh, things ended up turning on the dark side. Luke, or Lucas, chooses to get out of this life. He says to himself, you know what? I need to better myself. I need to do this for my family. This is not what they like. This is not what they want. So he gave up the life of crime and gangs and he actually did something for himself. He looked for a job, he cleaned up his act, and then, you know, he became a good member of society. Even after Luke Cage was done with his life of crime, he ended up saving his best friend Stryker from a, from a mob hit, so he was gonna get killed, but Luke showed up and he helped him, and he ended up saving his ass. Stryker's girlfriend at the time was suffering from all of this situation going on, you know. So she ended up getting closer to Luke, uh, to Luke Cage, and Stryker didn't like that. She ended up breaking up with Stryker, but she didn't really get with Luke like that, but. Stryker didn't care, so he was a jealous guy, and this is what he did. Stryker planted heroin inside of Luke Cage's apartment, and then he tipped the cops. What a friend, huh? Dick. So, our man Luke Cage ends up going to jail. Or prison. Which one is the worst? The one where you drop the soap. So our main man Luke ended up being there for a while and uh, during his stay at hotel prison he tried to escape a few times but he wasn't very successful. Luke used to write letters to his dad that he would send out but Luke's brother was so upset about Luke going to jail or prison that he intercepted all the letters and his dad never got them. This led uh, Luke Cage to believe that his dad was dead, which completely messed him up even more. Fast forward some times, there is this uh, suave doctor who wanted to do um, this experiment type thing on one of the prisoners. His name was Dr. Noah Bernstein. So this guy comes in and he handpicks Luke to go through this experiment. The experiment is based on a serum which is kind of a variant of the super soldier program. So this experiment works. After some time, they experimenting with him, 
they don't know if the powers are gonna work or not, but they end up working. And they give Luke Cage some pretty awesome stuff. Superhuman strength, superhuman stamina. It made his skin, the density of his skin so thick and so tense that he could avoid bullet shots, stab wounds, um, even small projectiles he was able to survive. So this gave him basically superpowers. And, no, that's not the end. So he uses these powers to escape prison once and for all, and he leaves that life behind. Um, he kinda, you know, creates the Luke Cage persona, and he goes back to New York City. Right as he returned, he became this hero for hire type guy who, you know, if you had a problem, you wanted somebody beat up, or if you wanted somebody, you know, being heroed out, out, heroed up, heroed, heroed. If you wanted somebody to go down superhero style, you would call the guy. So he wasn't really the most noble of superheroes at first, but you know, you gotta make a buck. You gotta feed your family, or in this case himself, you, you gotta hustle. Did you know that not only did it make his skin really dense, but also he gave it this massive muscle tissue. That's why when you see Luke Cage in the comic books, or even while being played on Netflix, it's this really big, huge, muscular guy. Did you know that his skin is so dense, it could actually probably stop a grenade blast. There hasn't really been too many occasions where he has been able to push or test his powers to the limits, but he has taken a lot of damage. I'm just kidding, his powers get tested like all the time, so I'm, I'm pretty sure he can take a grenade blast, probably even a rocket launcher blast or, you know, a brain blast. Nah? Okay. That was a Jimmy Neutron reference, just in case you didn't get it. Rain blast, no. Mechanical canine. Like I said before, in the continuity, he is married to Jessica Jones. She actually adopts the name Jessica Jones Cage later on. But that's for another comic book quickie, where we will be talking about Jessica Jones. Spoiler alert. Did you know that he was part of this group of Heroes for Hire? <laughs> yeah, they were called Heroes for Hire. And you know who else was in there? Iron Fist, who also has a Netflix TV show coming up. Netflix really knows how to make money. Maybe Netflix and chill should be actually like chilling, you know? Watching movies or Marvel shit with the one you love. In the year 2005, his character was actually added to the new Avengers, which if you ask me, it was a great idea because it gave the new Avengers a lot of muscle. He's basically like an African-American Captain America who is really strong and thick skin. It's a little more than that, but you know what I'm trying to say. Also, did you know that him and Jessica Jones have a daughter? Also in the continuality. So where can you find Luke Cage nowadays? Well, in the comic books, you'll find him assembling his own teams. Uh, he may be sometimes even calling them Avengers, his own Avenger type comic book guys. And um, kicking ass. He is badass. He, that's, that's the best way I can describe it. He's just this tall, gigantic mass of muscle and badassery who will kick your ass and send you across the Brooklyn Bridge. He has teamed up with Spider-Man, he has teamed up with uh, the Avengers, as I said before. He has been a huge help. He has had appearances in video games, such as in Spider-Man Web of Shadows, among others. Um, and as of recently, he has become very popular, especially after the Jessica Jones Netflix show. If you want to learn more about Luke Cage, definitely check out the Netflix TV show that comes out Friday, September 30th, which is kind of around the corner. I personally cannot wait. I should really finish Jessica Jones first, though. Don't judge me. I, I, I got like a million shows to watch. <sighs> I, I, sh I should be watching shows right now. But I like doing this better. So the moral of the story is, when in prison, 
let the weird guy experiment on you so you can get superpowers and save the world. That sounded really weird, didn't it? In prison, let the guy experiment on you, in you, prison. <gasps> Whatever flows your boat, man. I'm not judging. You want to let people experiment on you? Go for it. So that is it for this Luke Cage comic book quickie. I hope that you guys learned a lot. I hope that you guys uh, got a better idea of what Luke Cage and his character is about. And uh, most of all, I hope that you guys liked the video. Please, please, please show us some love. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Uh, give us suggestions of what other characters you would like to see in Comic Book Quickie. We are also looking to start a series for wrestling, which is going to be Wrestling Quickie. When we're going to be talking about wrestlers or their personas or, you know, anything wrestling related. Um, we're working on those right now, but if you have ideas for those, also drop us a line below. Because the geeky world also includes wrestling, that's right. Please follow us on the Facebook group, follow us on Twitter. If you want to follow me, follow me at AdLuZamber3790. That's my Twitter uh, direct at. And um, please guys, please, 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 share the video, look around, uh, check my previous videos. Um, we've done Dark Side, we've done John Constantine, and uh, look out for more videos in the future. And uh, like I said, we have a few Marvel characters coming up, as well as some DC more, uh, characters as well. And uh, if you, again, if you have any suggestions, drop them down below, leave a comment, and uh, we'll do our best to make it happen. Thank you again, guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Stay awesome. Stay amazing. Enjoy the weekend. And geek on.